my wife and I, we celebrate like one week every year in February that consists of our anniversary, Valentine's Day, and her birthday. They all happen within like six days of each other. So every year we try to do something special like take a trip or just do something by ourselves for that week. And sometimes it happens during the week of, and sometimes we have to plan it for afterwards, depending on work and those type things. And last year, during this week, we chose to go up to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. We chose to do the same thing again this year with a little different spin to it. And that's because last year, everything was still shut down because of COVID and uh, everything's pretty much opened back up this year. So we opted to just kind of repeat, but change things up. So um, that week is now upon us. We're leaving today, but instead of just going straight to Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg, we're gonna head up to Nashville for the night and get a room and enjoy some of Nashville. And then tomorrow we have rented a cabin in the mountains in Gatlinburg and uh, we'll be able to check into it tomorrow. So. It's going to be a fun-filled week for us. Now, not only am I going to film some of the stuff that we do, I'm not going to film everything because I don't want to spend the entire week walking around with a camera or, you know, filming everything, but I'm going to film some of the stuff that we do. And before we leave both places, I have a series of true crime videos and lined up to film and tell from wherever we go. So it's gonna be an interesting week. There's gonna be a mixture of sightseeing and true crime videos. It should be a lot of fun. It's gonna be interesting. I know we're gonna have a lot of fun. We are packing up the car now. We're hitting the road for Nashville. If we were just going straight to Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg, we would be getting off right here at this exit and it would take us up through Chattanooga and then into Knoxville. But we wanted a little bit of a change and neither Amy or I have spent a whole lot of time in Nashville. So we chose to just go spend the night in Nashville and have a, a good night before we got up tomorrow and went to our cabin. Six hours later. We have been on the road for a good six hours now between stops and everything. And we're just now coming into Nashville. Fortunately for us, our hotel is just right here off the interstate within walking distance of all the popular spots here in the city. So once we get to the hotel, we can just about walk anywhere we need to go and not have to worry about parking. The directions have brought us right up Music Row. Here's RCA Recording Studios. Uh, this is what they call Music Row here in Nashville. And this is where like all the country music recording stations are for all of country music they're all like right here on this one little road all right next to each other see the guitars here on the left and there's cma country music awards on the left and loud recording curb studios on the right there's bmg a street over from us i see where it says sony recording And they're all those recording studios are all right here on this one road. And then it dead ends here at this crazy looking fountain that's very lewd with nude people all over it. It says Buddy Killing Circle. And it's uh, right in the center of a roundabout. And then we're, once we get right past it here our hotel is just right here down here on the right right next to the interstate that we need to get on tomorrow to head to Gatlinburg 
we were fortunate enough that from our hotel, it's only about a 10 minute walk down to where everything's happening at in Nashville. So like I said, we don't have to worry about driving down there. We can just walk and not worry about where we're gonna park. Well, this is our only night in Nashville. I will be getting up tomorrow and filming a true crime video from Nashville before we leave to head over to Gatlinburg. Tonight, we're gonna just kind of walk down to Broadway and see the live music going and the places to eat and the shops and all that stuff. And we're gonna head down there and just have a good evening tonight. We have definitely made it to where everything's happening at. This is still Broadway, right past the Bridgestone Arena where their hockey team plays at. And this is apparently where all the partying is going on. Here's a whoop ass, whoop ass ghost pepper, jalapeno steak sauce, honey barbecue wing sauce. Well, there's hot sauce and grenades. There's wasabi. Roy likes wasabi. Yeah. The, the king. Hey, it's the king. And they had to chain him up. Wow. Tootsie's or Orchid Lounge. Somebody's in trouble. to go into Rippy's and get
get some barbecue for dinner while we listen to some live music. And this is what we're working with. I got ribs, baked beans, and coleslaw for dinner. I hadn't seen one of these in a long time. It's a cigarette machine. Nine dollars though. It's a it's hopping down there. This is the place to be in Nashville. It has gotten pretty late here in Nashville now. So we're gonna wrap this video up and we're gonna head back to our hotel so we can get a good night rest. And tomorrow we will get up early in the morning, head back down here to the city because I'm gonna be filming a true crime video. And then when I get done with it, we'll be leaving, headed to Gatlinburg. So I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, go down, hit that subscribe button, then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you're wanting to help support the channel, you can check out the links in the description box below. Thank you all. I just can't thank you enough for watching. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Much love to you all. Don't you know we don't have any 7-Elevens in Alabama or none. So we're fixing to go into a 7-Eleven. We don't get to do that very often. Hey, only when we go down to like Universal, down in Florida, not in Alabama.